Okay, this is a video showing you my old jack, the red one, and my new jack, the low profile from Harbor Freight, two ton, and the profile on that, low profile is three and three eighths, and the red one is five inches. And the reason I'm making this video is to go ahead and convert this new jack to a transmission jack, and uh, also convert it back to the regular use of, of a uh, jack. And at the same time, I'm going to go ahead and uh, uh, use another device over here that uh, right now it's all apart. I'm going to go ahead and weld it up together. And uh, it'll raise it up to about four inches. And uh, if the, with the transmission uh, sitting on inside that device there, I can just slide it up onto here with these plates I will go ahead and uh, drill with a hole saw and it'll fit right into the assembly with this now in order to go ahead and uh, take this thing off now let me show you something here first this thing here has got movement for movement and uh, this one over here it's just plain slop and so I got tired of the slop and I needed something to go from like a zero to uh, at least 12, 13, 14 inches. I couldn't get it, but uh, if I go ahead and make this then uh, adapt it to that, it'll work. So in order to go ahead and make this work, these are uh, glued on. Take that off and use a number 10 millimeter. Take this screw out and that's what makes it different from the other one. The other ones are just uh, placed inside there. And this lifts right off. This is a quarter inch thick and if you can take a look at those steps there that's one eighth of an inch here and it's one eighth of an inch here so total thickness is, is one quarter. Now if you add this ridge up here that's another uh, quarter inch so I've got to compensate for that maybe just lift the jack up a quarter inch and everything will be okay. This is that uh, screw that sets everything down inside there. Like I said, it takes a 10 millimeter wrench and it is hard to get out, so be prepared for that. And then uh, the thread size, it's a millimeter. Oh, I'm not sure, 22, 23, 24, I haven't measured that out. But I'll go ahead and reuse this one to go ahead and put in my transmission uh, uh, lifting device. Now the OD on this is 0.934. I think I can use a hole saw 15 16 to cut the, uh, the holes out in the metal to have it sit inside the recess here. And the uh, OD is 1.131. Or just a little greater than 118. Okay, what I did, I went ahead and put those um, jack screws. As a matter of fact, they're um, 5 8 Acme thread uh, studs. They're 6 inches long. And along with the, uh, the nuts, everything will be welded up together except for these nuts right here. And they'll be used to go ahead and hoist it as a jack screw on all four corners. That will provide me with enough lift of four inches to get it up onto the hydraulic uh, two-ton transmission jack. As you can see, nothing is made up right now, so I'll go ahead and start making things up. And I'll go ahead and raise this one up as a demo and then uh, begin welding it up. All right, so I went ahead and uh, raised it up about four inches by the jack screws. Now, I, everything is not welded up, so everything's loose. I'm just showing you guys in the video before I start to begin. And uh, this other plate that's on the uh, new hydraulic jack, uh, a lot of the same type of corners around there, except it'll be, instead of that loose fit on the red one, it'll sit a lot tighter because with the aid of this screw. 
right here. And uh, so that's it. And again, the only reason I'm doing this, I don't have a lot of room underneath that car. I don't have no big old stand to go ahead and uh, race the car up on. And as you can see, the car is sitting uh, pretty low right now and uh, needs to be raised up uh, some more. And that's just, that's just sitting there for uh, uh, so I keep the weight off the tires and stuff. And I was doing some other stuff with it, but normally it'll be about a, a foot more. And uh, when you're up underneath there, you're trying to lift this dead weight of this transmission. You can't do it, and especially me. Uh, you know, that's the reason I'm making this video. Okay, so here it is, all welded up and ready to go ahead and lift. I didn't want to make a comment here. It's a low-profile aluminum uh, hydraulic floor jack, two-ton, and my little red one there, that big red. It's a three-ton. It's 25 years old. You see the, the low profile of the uh, new one as compared to the old one? This is one of the ways why I'm going this route. And I'm going to go ahead and put the transmission. Of course, it's a dummy transmission. No guts. And then I'll go ahead and uh, jack it up onto the, uh, the new lift. Okay, so here it is. Using a 1 and 1 16th to go ahead and raise it. Now for these, every turn of these nuts are an eighth of an inch. And I know it's a little slow, but it sure does put in the, sure does beat putting the pieces of wood up underneath there and trying to get it done. And uh, this is what I like. Okay, we're back. This is the uh, 12 by 12. And uh, I roughed these areas up over here and had to drill these holes here for some uh, tighteners up to go ahead and mount it on to the other piece one here. This is uh, fits right over there. And the hole saw, this was one and an eighth. And this one here is one and a quarter. And of course, there's that, there's that screw again, and that'll fit right down inside there. And uh, the reason I drill these holes out is because I'm going to go ahead and weld these up. Now, uh, of course, it would have been fine if I had a quarter inch piece of metal and had access to a machine shop, then I could have routed these out. But I don't, so hey, this is the easiest way that I thought, and uh, it works. So, plus, it, it gives it a a quarter inch piece of material and it's thicker then added to the other piece uh, the one that's over here uh, for the transmission to sit on that's another eighth so a total three-eighths of an inch thick anyway I'll go ahead and put these two pieces together and uh, get back to you okay we're back so I went ahead and uh, screwed those two pieces together and uh, brought the bottom piece up to mate with the top piece and the only reason I'm doing this is because I don't have uh, uh, vice grips or whatever uh, to reach deep inside there you can do whatever you want to go ahead and do so what I'm going to go ahead and do is TIG in these holes and fill them up, fill them up and then uh, I'll go ahead and use my other uh, grips to go ahead and reach on the insides here and uh, that'll put this sandwich these two pieces together then I'll go ahead and remove these four screws take them all out and then fill these guys up at the very end I'll go ahead and smooth everything up and uh, that, uh, we're just about done with this okay there are the uh, holes for went ahead and uh, put tigged them then I'll go ahead and grind them flat and I'll do the rest with the rest of the holes and that'll put that plate together Okay, there's the finished plate, all ground, ready to go. Something I wasn't uh, counting on, so there's a uh, 32 thousandths uh, lift I gotta go ahead and put here. So I went ahead and just made this up real quick. It's 32 thousandths aluminum. And uh, go ahead and put that on like that. Put the screw on. Tighten it up with your 10 millimeter Allen wrench. And 
nice and snug. Lower this a bit and drops down. And uh, here we go. We're right up underneath there. Okay, something I want to go ahead and add further to this thing is that I went ahead and drilled uh, uh, some quarter inch holes here for some bolts. And uh, let me go ahead and put one in. And don't have to be very long. Got a wing nut, and it'll go right below there. You'll see what I mean when I get this thing done. Just a second. Okay, so I went ahead and put them in in all four corners. And uh, here we go. Lifting it up. And as you can see, it's nice and steady. It rocks a little bit. But this is what I need to get that thing off the ground. And uh, you know what I noticed is that the uh, acne threads, the six inches, might be a little too short, so I might have to buy some new ones and extend those, but uh, hey, this will work. Thanks for watching. Okay, so here it is, all back on the floor again, and to it's uh, on the floor. Of course, that plate is an eighth of an inch thick, and all you got to do is put the transmission on, on it, and then as soon as it's high enough, we'll say five, six inches or so, and then slide the two-ton floor jack up underneath there, and put it on it and uh, as you can see I've drilled there's four holes they're five sixteenths and I put a quarter inch bolt in them now when the uh, this is sitting underneath this with those holes lined up just so everything mirrors up together so you don't have a lot of rocking back and forth just to go ahead and put those quarter twenties in and should be nice and steady. Of course, you got the you got the back lip there, and you got the forward one here, so you're protected from it sliding off, so to speak. But hey, any hot rodder knows: be careful in what you do. Don't get your hands squished, pinched, and this should take some of the uh, burden off of the low-profile uh, car, which you don't have a, a lift to lift that thing up with. In my case, like I said, I can get 12 to 16 inches underneath that car. You know, and uh, this will work. Thanks for watching.